In question 14, we're told that Sally plays two games against Martin. And in each game, Sally could win, draw or lose. And in each game they play, the probability that Sally will win against Martin is 0.3. And the probability that she will draw against Martin is 0.1. Now we need to work out the probability that Sally will win exactly one of the two games against Martin. So in the tree diagram, you can see that I've completed 0.6 as the probability of losing. And that's because the sum of the probabilities of the mutually exclusive and exhaustive events across a branch must add to one. Now we're interested in certain events. The probability that Sally wins then loses is 0.6 times 0.3, which equals 0.18 that she wins and then draws is 0.03, that she loses then wins is also 0.18, and the probability that she draws and then wins is 0.03. If we add these together, we get a total of 0.42, and these are the only scenarios where Sally wins exactly one of the two games. So the answer is 0.42.